Hey, hey, what's up? I'm trying to, <laughs> so I, um, oh my gosh, you guys, I, first of all, I don't believe that. <laughs> first, just don't, don't believe the, um, the title. What is, what is that block? Okay. It's kind of late. It's a little bit, a little bit late here. Um, how are you guys doing? How's your night going? Sorry, I'm holding my phone instead of using my um, tripod, and it's probably not going to work very well. I wonder if I can set up my tripod. Um, whatever. I can hold it. So I um, posted on Facebook um, about what people think about... Hey, Latrice. I posted on Facebook what do people think about passive income, and why are you not starting it, and what's like, what are you afraid of about passive income... And I'm hearing consistently, well, there's a lot of like of the things that I thought people would say that I've heard before. Oh, thanks. Um, there's a lot of things that I've heard people say before, but this one I've never heard before. And um, it's a doozy. So, but actually a few people said it. So I think the thing is like people have been trying to do passive income and it hasn't been successful for whatever reason one or the other, or maybe they just have like built up this thing in their head. Okay, no, definitely won't work because of blah, blah, blah. But yeah, I've been hearing this like from quite a few people that said that passive income is not really passive. Um, that you like have to spend time to create it and set it up and whatever. And like, it just ends up wasting a bunch of time. And so I thought that like, I'm definitely going to talk about this it's definitely work at first to, to do passive income. Yeah. So I'm going to talk about this tomorrow anyways, but this is, it got me so fired up that I felt like I needed to talk about it right now, which is why I'm doing this really impromptu periscope. Number one, I never do periscopes at night. Number two, um, we're going to have to make them all good. Um, I never do nighttime scopes. And number two, like especially this late, um, and number two, I never do them without putting my phone on a tripod and being set up and whatever. Um, you need my, my knowledge. What's passive income? So passive income, um, does, well, f f I think I'll answer that question by answering this, the other question, right? So the reason people are saying passive income is not passive is because it takes time to set up. But the thing is you got to think about, um, you can always catch the nighttime scopes. I never do nighttime scopes, so you never can catch them. That's funny. Um, so passive income does not mean that you don't do work. I totally agree with that. I agree that it does take work to set up, but this is what you have to think about. I'm going to kind of ignore the comments for just a second so I can get this out. Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, but just, just ask it in, 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 in a second. But passive income doesn't mean that you don't have to do work. What it means is, when let's say you're doing work for, like right now you're, you have clients and you're doing work for your clients. So you're working one-on-one, -on -one, right? So you really you're only doing um, work for, you're, you're still spending time doing work for that one person. So it's one-to-one, -one, right? So you're spending, I don't know, let's say you spend 10 hours on a project. So you're spending 10 hours on a project for that one person, right? Well, what passive income is, it doesn't mean that you don't have work, but what it means is that in, you're going to basically do the same amount of work that you are for one person. So let's say you spend 10 hours, right, setting up this passive income for, let's say, even if it was for one person. Well, now every other person besides that one person that takes your course or buys your product or, or utilizes you, right, every single person from from past that first person is passive income because you didn't have to do any extra work for person two, person three, person a hundred, right? You did the work once and it has infinite possibilities on how much money you can make and how many people you can help. So that is the point of passive income. Not that you don't have to do work. You always have to do work. You're doing work for your clients. You're doing one-to-one -one work with your clients right now, right? You're spending time working with one person when you could be work doing one to many. So that's what passive income is. It's creating a system and putting things in place so that you can work with a lot more people. It's not about, you're going to spend the time anyways, but the key to passive income is that you are investing the time instead of spending the time. So that's the whole difference. So time is not finite in a way, right? Um, light bulb. Yeah. Good. <laughs> so I'm like trying to explain this on Facebook to all these people. And I'm like, Oh my gosh, I need to get on Periscope and like, just have a little rant. Um, 
because it's not about not, it's about investing the time you spend and making more bang for your buck. So just like you would like, it's like buying a car versus buying a, or buying a house versus buying a car. Like a car is always going to uh, depreciate in value, right? But if you buy a house, you're investing your money in an investment, right? Should you ever take your passive income from money? Sorry. I, sorry. I didn't, I didn't read it fast enough. Sorry guys. And if I missed any of those other comments, sorry guys, I just, I wanted to get that out before, um, before I read any comments, but that was my basic point. Um, is your time is invested and not spent. Like you buy a house and you put money into it, but you're supposed to get that money out. Like that's the whole point. Um, you make a lot more money from it. You're not really just spending money. Whereas with a car, you're actually just spending money because it's just, guzzling <laughs> your money away. Um, so it's kind of co what passive income's like, you know, um, you're going to spend that time anyway, helping one client. You might as well help a hundred clients for the same time. You only help that one client, right? Or I mean that you spent helping that one client. So that is what passive income's about. So, um, I think someone asked earlier about how to do it. So that's a loaded question. And I think that when people say, well, how did you do it? How do you make passive income? You're asking a few things and you're asking a few different questions. And so next tomorrow, I'm actually going to talk about this. So when you're asking me that, when someone says, how do you make passive income? Um, okay, that's a good question. So, um, how do you do it? It's, that, like I said, it's an overwhelming question and there's a few parts to it. So number one, how do you come up with an idea? That's one part, right? That's one part of the piece of the puzzle. And so some people struggle with that. They're like, I just don't have an idea. I don't know what to teach, right? Or I don't know what to sell. Um, number two is how to deliver the idea. So some people might know um, what to, what they need to teach or what they need to sell, but they just have no idea what to deliver it. They don't know what platform or like how people best will learn or buy or, you know, get delivered the product, right? And then the last thing is people want to know how to market the idea. So market or sell the idea, right? So there's three parts to that question. And I think if you can break it down like that, then it makes it a lot easier. You're going, okay, now I just have three things to learn, three sections, or maybe you don't need to know all those sections, but you just need to learn one of them. So it makes it become like a less, um, you know, bigger monster, I guess, when you can break down what you actually need to learn and what, how you need to learn it. Should you ever take your passive product from dollars to free when sales slow down and create a new item? Um, that's kind of a general question. So really it depends on what it is and what you're selling. If it's a has, if you have a lot of value, I wouldn't discount because, um, we're not Walmart, <laughs> right? We're not like, uh, rolling back the prices, um, like Walmart, right? So if you, if it still has value and, and a lot of value, if you can, um, convince people, not convince people, but if, if you know that it has value to the person, like if you're teaching something that they're going to make tons of money off of or something like that, I would never discount that because you're just discounting yourself, you know? Um, ebook, it's a 30 page download. So that's a good question. Um, 30 pages. I would say that's a kind of a lot of information for free, but, um, if it's at the end of its sales life, then I think that'd be okay. But if it's a lot of information, I would say something else should probably be the free version. Um, just because free is usually quick wins. So if, if it's like, you know, the extensive guide to blah, blah, blah. Like that's too much for a free, like free. You just, you want it to be really simple, something they can take really quickly. And then you can say, if you want more information, you know, here's the next step or whatever. But honestly, there's a whole sales cycle, um, about, you know, just like, you know, making things like more expensive and then refreshing them and getting cheaper and cheaper and cheaper as it goes. But yeah, like free stuff should be really quick wins. And so like a I mean, 30 pages depends on how, how is that double spaced 30 pages? You know what I mean? Like, so it just, it just, um, it's hard for me to say without knowing exactly what it is and what's involved in it. But I would say, what's the value for you? Like you're able to look and see, okay, here's the value. And this is not worth discounting or giving away for free because it still has a lot of value. Um, so what's the, what's something that we're, what's some information I could give away that's really great, but, um, that has like little small wins and things that are kind of more digestible. That's kind of what my take on free stuff, because, um, people don't, don't expect much from free. They expect some really good stuff, but just like almost like that, just that boom, that one punch, but not everything there is to know. Cause that's too overwhelming. Right. Um, so that's just kind of just generally what I would say for that. But yeah, so that's it. I just wanted to share it with you. Um, my whole spiel on <laughs> what passive income is and what it isn't and, and why the timing really isn't a good excuse. So excited for your course. Oh, thanks. It's going to be so different from the other one that I, that I did a couple years ago. Um, 
really way better. <laughs> I mean, there's still a lot of great, great information in what I created a couple years ago, but things have changed so much and I've changed so much and I've learned so much about value and pricing and all of it. Um, it's going to be way different in that realm. And also we have four levels of it this time, which, be, which we only had one level before. So, um, this is going to be very different. It's going to be like anywhere from like basically, you know, self-study with your gr well, a group study to like, I'm actually setting up your, your system for you. So there's, there's a huge like range of what I'm offering this time. So I'm excited. I, oh, I'm like nervous. I'm nervous, but I, I'm so excited. Like I'm so like, my heart is so in this that I can't wait to share people, um, share with people this stuff because I'm like, oh, it's going to be so good. I think. Yeah. So anyways, you guys have a wonderful night. I know it's really late on the East Coast. Thanks for hanging with me. And, and while I'm sitting on my purple couch, we're um, working out these last minute kinks <laughs> and trying to figure this out. Um, but I'll see you guys tomorrow. I didn't even tell you guys. Uh, so the, the website is in the URL, uh, createpassiveprofits.com. If you guys want to set up, sign up for the free training tomorrow, it's going to be an hour. Um, and I'm going to tell you about the program, but I'm going to give you enough good information that you should need to just show up. And, and we also are giving away stuff for free during the training. So make sure you show up live. All right, guys, have a wonderful day night. <laughs> I always say day because I never do it at night. Have a wonderful night. Get some good rest and I will see you tomorrow at 12. If you're signed up, if you're not signed up, you're not getting a link, but, um, <laughs> if you're signed up, hi Mo, how are you? Um, but if you're signed up for it, please, um, or make sure you're signed up for it and I'll see you tomorrow at 12, um, Pacific. 12 p.m. Pacific and 3 p.m. Eastern Time. Love you guys and good night.